Next letter, we have DK, first, last initial, from San Leandro, California. February 19th, 2020. Dear Brother Brian, greetings, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I found your YouTube videos on YouTube and have perceived that you love the Lord in truth. I too love the Lord with my heart, whole heart, knowing full well that I was rescued from a wretched condition and am still far from having obtained the goal, heaven, but continue pressing on in faith. Um, having obtained the goal, well, let that go for now. My concern is this. While listening to your video entitled, which, which Christian group is the right one, I understood that you have disdain for hypocritical false churches. I understand that salvation is a personal right relationship with God, but correct me if I'm wrong. You made it sound like if I attend any church, I'm on my way to hell. I didn't say that. Okay. If that was what I taught, then I would be condemning myself when I first got saved because I would go to Baptist churches. I've never said that. I've never taught that. Okay. Understand the difference between struggling with sin and defending sin. Church buildings, there's no support for them. You're adding to the scriptures. There's all the other issues there. Having your nice little church thing when you go inside the building and you put on your little happy church face and your little life that you live inside the church and then you live like the devil when you leave. There's all kinds of problems with the church building issue. They're wrong. There are people that are struggling, that are ignorant going to those places. I think the Lord's gotten them out, you know, hopefully by now with all this stupid nuttiness of the government cracking down on them. But uh, people in the past went to church buildings. I'm not going to say that they're all lost. Absolutely not. Salvation is a personal, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So you're lying there. I didn't say if you go to any church that you're on your way to hell. That's a lie. If that's what you teach, what about the verse in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25? Uh, yeah, uh, we've been over that before many times. I've preached a whole sermon on that. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. I think, let me just check that quick. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Yeah, okay, it does say our, ourselves. I was thinking yourselves, but ourselves together. Just wanted to make sure. Since I'm no longer married and my six children are all grown up and moved out, just exactly who am I to gather with, if not other believers at a small local church? Why do you have to meet in a church building? Okay, and, and how's that church building going that it's, you know, since it's been shut down by the government and the pastor, you know, willingly, you know, submits? How's that working? I don't have a computer, so don't say online. I only have an iPhone on which I watch YouTube. I also saw where you said to get rid of cell phones, but I'm not going to be able to watch your videos if I do that. Um, then what? Uh, well, understand that the problem with cell phones is that they put on off electrical fields. They are able to listen in on your conversations. And there's, I mean, there's so many different problems. They can track you. Do some research, okay? Um, they can give you cancer over extended periods of time. I'm trying to give you some advice to warn you to, so that you can have good health. And, you know... Uh, I don't really understand the thing of, you know, you have to have a cell phone. You, you know, stay away from computer, but you, you have to have a cell phone. Well, that doesn't really make much sense to me. Well, here's my reality. I work at a job to support myself. I know the Bible teaches, let him who works not eat not. That's not what the Bible says. If any would not work, neither should he eat. Um, it's talking about a man. Okay. He, H-E, is a man. Okay. <laughs> I won't be able to support uh, ministries if I don't work also. Uh, your support for this ministry is not going to mean anything. All right. As far as, uh, you know, I have to have female, you know, I'm going to encourage women to get jobs outside of the home so that they can support the ministry. You're never going to hear me say that. If you go to Baptist churches, though, they'll, they'll say it. I've heard them say it. Um, you might want to consider if you're a wife that's at home and you don't have children anymore, you really ought to go out and get a job so you can help support the church. I've heard that. Um, I'm interested in your testimony of being a former false convert because I know I was once one also. 
Now, I have learned a lot from studying the King James Bible and also listening to different YouTube preachers and teachers. My heart's desire is to grow in holiness and fight the good fight until the end. May the Lord strengthen and establish you, Brother Brian, and then keep you in his perfect will. Thank you for your all for all your online YouTube videos that teach so many good things. Please, if you could take a few minutes to respond to my letter, um, old-fashioned as it is, I would really appreciate it. If it's too much to ask, then God bless you anyway. Nothing deters me from my walk with Christ. Loving Christ Jesus, your sister in Christ, the name. Um, well, you know, people write me these letters and they say, what am I supposed to do? You know, I have to work and I have to support myself. Well, what did you do to get to that point? Where's your husband at? You had six children, I think she said there. Um, where was it? Uh, yeah, six children. No longer married and my six children are all grown up. Um, where's your husband at? What happened? Uh, well, he died. Well, can your children take you in? You know, um, there's, you know, First Timothy chapter 5 uh, doesn't give any grounds for women working outside of the home. Well, I have this bad situation here. You don't understand. Okay, well, you know, pray the Lord to get you out of it. I get the fact that people get into bad situations and then get genuinely born again, but then pray that the Lord gets you out of that thing. Pray the Lord brings you, if your husband's dead or, or you know, whatever, then pray the Lord brings you a husband. Um, be a helpmate. Uh, there's, there's men out there that need a good wife. Are you a good wife? You know, uh, seek to do the, the will of the Lord. This is your standard right here, the Bible. And the Bible doesn't give any grounds at all for women working outside of the home. Outside of the home. Inside of the home, the Proverbs 31 woman, absolutely. Do things with your hands. There, there's no problem with that. But when you're going out into the secular workforce, then there's a problem. Maybe that's why you're single. Okay? <laughs> um, I know of many situations where, oh, we just have to have that double income. We have to have the wife out there working. The husband's just not, we're not making enough to be able to live the kind of life level that we want so i'm just going to go out and i got to work my husband's working and i got to work because we have to pay these bills we got all these you know car payments and and mortgage and all these other debts you know chains on us and and uh, i'm not willing i just can't live a a life of suffering and I, I can't be without a dishwasher and you know my cell phone and my this and my that and and going out to eat at restaurants and all this stuff i can't live like that so we have to have two incomes and all of a sudden the marriage breaks up because, well, that, that, there was a nice guy at work, and he just understands me so much better than my husband does. And my husband's really not as good to me as this guy that I met at my work. And, and, and you know, th th I think that the Lord had my first husband there, but then my second husband, he, you know, it, he was the real true husband that I found later on. So, you know, don't write me with, you know, this, this type of thing and... and uh, is it okay if I work outside? You're not giving me all the details, and I really don't want them. You know, the Bible is against women working outside of the home, period. Uh, don't look for a preacher to justify your sin. Okay? On to the next letter.